Hi Gemini, welcome to your mid-month reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below for the month of January. I have two special sales offer available. One, it's an extended opportunity to have the 2020 sneak peek um, reading. So it's a reading that looks upon what kind of major themes, opportunities, and challenges might be a part of this new year cycle for you. And the other one is called Make a Wish. It's also a reading that focuses in 2020 energy, but more specifically in terms of intentions you have for love and relationships, career and finances, health and well-being, and personal growth and evolution, your spiritual path. So basically, uh, you set an intention for each of these areas and we'll look at the likelihood of them coming to fruition or not this year, what kind of energies are working um, at the favor of your desires and wishes and what energies are working against it. Again, if you would like to know more details about those special offers or any other of my services, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link, which is on below, such as Soul Vision, um, Facebook and Instagram pages. So Gemini, I feel like some of you during mid-January have an opportunity to take a little bit of a break over the type of busy bee kind of life that many Geminis are familiar with and usually have, always doing a lot of things, always busy with a lot going on, a lot on your plate. And it's not that um, some of you are not, you know, having those same, you know, requirements and duties and responsibilities uh, that you need to keep up with because the two of pentacles is here. So definitely, even if you're taking a break, you're busy in the break. Even if you're on holidays, you're busy with something because there's a part of it that has a lot to deal with the hyperactivity that usually um, Geminis have within their own mental structure is just very uh, overactive, basically. Uh, the feeling here is that you might have a chance to manage time much better than what you have been managing. And so causing a lot of ups and downs and fluctuations when it comes to your energy, when it comes to your physical availability to keep up with so many things, many tabs that your uh, mind opens. And so that life brings to you as a result as well. I feel like some of you might be taking some time to reflect, okay, to reflect what you really need to be doing and what you don't like making lists where you put the priorities where you put the urgent urgent matters the things you cannot let go of the things that are you know fundamental and take out some things the excess what you need to take out is the ten of wands so it's the excess this is the challenge is to be over uh doing it and being burdened by it having so much going on that you know it's a nightmare the things, you know, when you're you're so skilled and, you know, curious and you can be like involved in a lot of different activities and hobbies and courses and all of that. Meanwhile, still juggling, you know, family life and work life and your love life. Uh, sometimes being you is is being your nature is is complicated for your own self because your body fights against it because you're just human so you have limitations and sometimes you don't know how to stop and for some of you gemini's that are still having a hard time stopping and seeing that this is now the priority is to stop a little bit to recharge and reassess what you have going on you might be forced to stop you might, you know, catch a bad cold or flu. You might be sick on bed. You might, um, you know, be forced to go to uh, somewhere where your life is much more calm and smooth or your workplace, you know, sends you on vacations even if you didn't want to. Whatever it is, there's this type of uh, pushing 
from the universe during mid-January to help you take it easy, take it easy so that you can keep it flowing and keep it balanced as the two of pentacles as your advice wants to. I feel as well like some of you might have an opportunity to travel and this would be a perfect moment to also enjoy um, that destination as a chance to let go of the excessive noise that you have every in your everyday life in your current in your I'm sorry in your um, in your own you know natural habitat it's like by leaving your natural habitat it could be easier for you to rest than by staying in your environments um i also feel like some of you are easily distracted and easily bored and easily you know cut off it's almost like you don't you can't keep something um working long enough to make it functional and to make it you know sustainable because you you get you get bored with it easily and i feel like some of you have some choices to make when it comes to um leaving as well projects or uh, things you have committed yourself to do that now you're seeing you don't want to do anymore but you've said you would do it so again there's that feeling of now what do i do take some time to if you're going through that in mid-january take some time to let the answers come to you because they will if you will like necessarily the answer maybe not because i'm feeling like some of you have set yourselves to do something that you knew was a decision that was not grounded that was like like this risky business kind of dealing here and now you have to own up to that or you have to come up to that realization and decide accordingly what you're going to do now that you're not you're just not happy I feel like some of you are not happy with something, okay? So how something is working, how something is going. It's not giving you the, the passion, the stimulation, and it's also making you tired, so why do it? And decisions can be a little bit complicated for some of you Geminis. Uh, I also feel like for those of you that are involved in anything that deals, again, with people and teamwork and such, um, there might be a lot of confusion with groups, um a lot of this need to dictate perhaps ego my rules my rules my rules and you're in the middle of that or you're also wanting to push um you want to push to be heard okay and i'm feeling like there's something here about you not pushing too much because it's about taking it easy and letting things have their own natural rhythm and time to happen so this includes don't push yourself too much. Whatever goals you have in mind, if your body is not responding, if you are not feeling like your body, you know, wants the same things that your mind does, listen to your body. At least in mid-January, listen a little bit more to the body, to the body needs, because they are essential to keep you happy, actually, to keep you involved in all the good things that you want to be dealing with and i also feel like some of you are just wanting moments of more depth and less um noise again i keep getting like this this feeling of hibernation for some of you gemini's like coziness the winter calling here to the cozy being in bed um you know uh, or by the fireplace or just hanging with your loved ones drinking you know you're from a, a drinking tea, hot tea, hot coca, hot coffee, a glass of wine, whatever makes you feel comfortable, whatever makes you feel like you're in an environment that provides safety and nourishment at the same time, but that does not make you feel completely unplugged from what's going on out there. Again, I keep getting like you still need the connection. It's like, yes, it would be easier if you could just unplug like many people do, like put your phone away for one week. 
And maybe it's okay, you can't do that. Maybe you you can't do that. You can't be one week without checking on your phone or you can't be one week without seeing what's up uh, in the news or social media or whatever. It's okay to keep yourself updated and again, connected, but uh, in appropriate time. The thing seems to be like the time you give to those things and the times you give to disconnect are not balanced, are not equal, the equal same amounts of such. That's the kind of feeling that I'm catching that some of you need to adapt. Like, like you need to adapt to the limitations you wish you didn't have, but you do. There's that feeling of just being, you're only human, you know? So embrace that, embrace that. So you can then have moments where you're actually um, your body, if your body is recharged, if your body is happy, if you keep yourself, um, in balance, you're going to see that it's much easier to then when you go after things that are more about the stimulation of mind or heart, you're going to be able to give much more because it feels like, yes, you're, you're connected with a lot of things, but are you there? I don't feel like you have been giving as much of yourself or as much of what you truly have to offer um, because of this scattered energy and because you have not been taking some breaks to breathe, to sleep, to eat properly, to exercise, to walk in nature, to anything. It's like what it is that you have not been doing that is a must to your to your health. So I hope you have a great mid-month Geminis. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, and uh, commenting to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully we'll see each other soon.